Okay, we're back live here at EMC World, exclusive coverage from SiliconAngle.com's theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events, extract the signal from the noise. This is day two. We are in Las Vegas live for three days of coverage. This is day two. I'm John Furrier. I'm, I'm here with Stu Miniman and Winston Edmondson uh, for the intro kickoff of day two. We just heard from Joe Tucci, the CEO of EMC, and Paul Moritz, now the CEO of the new Pivotal company that they spun out from EMC and VMware. This is day two. We got wall to wall interviews. We got Pat Gelsinger coming up from uh, CEO of VMware, which last year, he was not the CEO, and we asked him on theCUBE, what would you do if you were the CEO of VMware? Well, he's now the CEO. We're going to hear from him today, and a, and a slew of other guests. Um, but quickly to wrap up, day two, we're in full force with EMC World, Joe Tucci talking about the waves of innovation, the three platforms, the three eras, era one mainframe, era two, the mini computer, client server, and internet, and then three, he's calling the mobile generation. This is the new modern era. Um, Stu, I want to get your take on it, and then we'll talk about Paul Moritz. Stu, um, I'll see Joe Tucci, this is the same slide uh, he's been showing for years, waves, one uses waves, now it's errors. Uh, what's your take on, on Tucci's comments and how's that transforming EMC? Yeah, John, so uh, it's interesting, the, the maturation of EMC's messaging here, uh, it's not just EMC, and uh, if, if, you know, if you turn back four years ago, as we said, storage is sexy again, but EMC is now a federation <coughs> of companies. Uh, there's EMC, there's VMware, uh, as you said, we're going to have Pat on today, and VMware. then there's the new Pivotal, uh, and EMC has a lot of other brands. RSA really kind of stands alone on the security side for the, that layer of trust as Joe says, that sea of trust that we need to have. Uh, then you've got VCE and uh, you know, just a lot of different pieces that EMC is playing in. And if you talk about that transition from the second platform, kind of the, the PC, where Intel and Microsoft really live, to the third wave, uh, where it's mobile, cloud, and big data, uh, you know, EMC was a big winner in that second wave. VMware is really helping to transition some from that second to that third wave, uh, not only with the server virtualization, but they have the end user computing, and of course Pivotal is that big bet on that third wave of platforms. We heard from uh, Paul Moritz, now the CEO of Pivotal, in 2010, in the first year of theCUBE, our first season, he laid out the maps, Stu, that, that showed the internet operating system, the cloud operating system, that vision, and it, it, it didn't materialize out the way had they had hoped, but it didn't change. The market changed, and, and, and yet the new service circumstances that are in the marketplace are the tsunami, the tsunami of big data, internet of things, some new dynamics change, and also virtualization change. We saw the, the advent of software-defined networking, and so a lot of stuff just didn't materialize from that VMware initial vision of 2010. They bought Spring, and on paper, it looked good in 2010. It looked good off the tee, as we say in golf, but it just didn't land properly. The market spun in a different direction. It didn't really change the semantics of what they're trying to do, Stu. So, What's your comments on that? Yeah, John, so, so here's a little bit of the inside baseball. So, uh, you know, I was at EMC from 2000 to 2010, and in 2008, I, I was in the CTO office when Paul Moritz's company, Pi Corporation, was bought. It was all about really consumer data, that consumerization of IT, uh, you know, really those, you know, mobile devices and that transformation. When Paul went into VMware, uh, you know, VMware was trying to become that next generation cloud platform. They bought Spring, they were buying applications up. In many ways, we said, you know, VMware was looking to become the next Microsoft, which of course is Paul Moritz's heritage. Now, VMware shedding off a lot of those applications. Pivotal is the bet now for modern applications and uh, you know, taking advantage of that cloud platform. And my take clearly is that obviously the market's changed, but they're doing the right things. They're decoupling this data fabric. What they're doing is they're decoupling the application modern era and allowing developers to have the ability to rapidly deploy applications in a hyperscale environment. That's what the enterprise wants. And by decoupling it from the VMware, which they've done, actually as a more formal organization, allows them to offer uh, choice and to have that messaging. And in the 80s and 90s, was multi-vendor support. Now it's open and choice is kind of that same kind of message. But by decoupling that, they allow the developers not to get locked in. And they're clearly targeting Amazon here. And uh, we're excited to have Paul Moritz on theCUBE. He'll be here on Wednesday, so keep watching, and we're going to ask him a lot of questions around hyperscale. What have they learned from some of the big web scale companies? What are the needs of the enterprises? And how does it fit into what Pat Gelsinger's doing? Because we've always said they are the Wintel of the future. Paul Moritz has a storied history at Microsoft, and 
obviously Pat Gelsinger at Intel. So this is theCUBE. We are excited to uh, be here at EMC World, and I want to introduce uh, our new member of the, the CUBE family, uh, Winston Edmondson. Winston is here uh, on the ground. He's been in Dallas. Uh, he's been doing some work with the, with the news desk, Studio B as we call it, um, checking in with folks. Winston, welcome to theCUBE. Thank Cube. you, thank you, appreciate it. So you've been out uh, doing Studio B, which is um, a new format where we go to the events, and we just capture B-roll, interview people, and try to get the sounds of the show, and try yeah. to get the vibe, because we want to you know, broadcast the signal. So what are you hearing from folks out there? You're talking to a lot of different folks out there. What are you hearing? Well, let me tell you, the first thing that I've been doing is talking to folks as they step off the cube, and I got to tell you, they are jazzed about the experience. You know, just finding out what their impressions were, pretty, pretty interesting, but we've gotten some interesting, uh, for example, uh, Vic Bagat, uh, the CIO, we, we spoke about uh, his, his interest in innovation, and a really powerful statement that he made to me, he said it starts with humility, and uh, really getting to the point where, as the CIO, the chief information or, or, or the chief innovation officer, uh, he wants all of his employees to know that they can come to him with ideas or concerns, and that was, you know, that was unique. So all throughout the uh, uh, e EMC here, folks seem to not just be pitching uh, uh, the buzzwords, but really, I mean, you can feel that it's genuine. They, they believe it and they, and they are uh, enacting you know, this, this vision of transformation. It's really fascinating. So we're doing some social media here, so obviously social media implies being social, so we're going to be checking in with folks. Um, what are some of the interesting check-ins you've had uh, here? Well, you know, we checked in at uh, a panel that, uh, that Dave did earlier, and uh, it was pretty fascinating. We've got some folks that uh, uh, weren't accustomed to the, the type of interactive, uh, audience interactive panel that, that he puts on, and so uh, just here at EMC, they, they expect things differently, and, and uh, they're getting it. Um, uh, well, we love the check-ins. Obviously, the SiliconANGLE, Wikibon relationships expand. The Cube is our great product. We extract the signal from the noise. We have peer insights at Wikibon. We go out and, and do peer review and talk to customers. And that product has been well-received, Stu, and I want to get your take on that. Uh, as well, we've got breaking analysis, we've got news desk, and we're going to continue to be blogging hard. So go to siliconangle.com for all the blogging hard, all the news, the analysis, the, all the reference point for tech innovation. Watch our news desk every morning. We're rolling that out of Dallas. We're going to have check-ins. We have, we have breaking analysis, and of course, peer insights with the peer reviews, with the Wikibon team has been a fabulous resource for the community. Again, all open source content, we don't charge for our content, we don't run banner ads, and we're excited. Stu, talk about the Peer Insights. What are you, um, what are you seeing evolving with Peer Insights? Because it evolved from you know, small little intimate gatherings, but now people are watching and the people are interested in Peer Insights. Yeah, well, well John, of course, it's the partnership with SiliconANGLE that's helping to drive video into a lot of what we do. So, you're right, the, the Peer Insight is uh, you know, one of the foundational pieces of Wikibon. It is IT practitioners, <coughs> peers, share with their peers, um, and when Wikibon was founded, it was really to help open up that research business. Uh, you know, information is really the lifeblood of a CIO's job, uh, and for most of them, you know, they want to share and they want to, you know, help the community get better. Uh, there are times where they have to have kind of their their differentiation in the marketplace, uh, but oftentimes they help and learn from their peers, and that's what we try to capture with video. We're kind of getting at that out even further, uh, and you know, obviously we're trying to drive that even further. It's exciting peer review is something that's out there. Twitter's, we're broadcasting live to Twitter, to Facebook, all these different social channels, and give us feedback. Be part of that peer review. Join Wikibon's Peer Insight. If you're a customer, a practitioner, we want to hear what you have to say and connect with other, other peers. And of course, if you don't like some of the coverage we have, just hit us up on Twitter. We're happy to talk about it. And of course, Winston's here and he's going to be checking in with folks here at Studio B. And of course, out of Dallas, we'll do some remote check-ins. Uh, this is Silicon Angles, The Cube, for day two, exclusive coverage at EMC World. This is The Cube, extracting the signal from the noise. We'll be right back with our next guest after this short break.